I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait, that's all fat, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back. to the channel or welcome if you're new here i'm christina aka that variety and today we're back with more good old universe mode here in wb 2 k 22 we're still very much getting there towards the beginning of the end if you will uh if things all pan out well uh you're gonna have six days in a row of videos because we just have no chill in this household and we want to finish this mess. And you're getting a couple free days to get, you know, to finish up your series. Okay, fine. We're, we're trying to say stuff. So, like we were trying to say here, we've got SummerSlam coming up. we got Ilya Dragunov versus Austin Theory. The winner of this matchup goes on to fill out the rest of the six-man elimination match coming up for that Intercontinental title at SummerSlam. So far, we've got Dominic Dijakovic, Johnny Gargano, The Miz, MGK, and Sami Zayn. A very interesting matchup. Lots of different styles, lots of different elements involved on and that sort of thing. But like I was saying, again, we're still pre-recording a lot of this content, so by the time this is out, uh, it should be hopefully March 5th. Yeah, we filmed way ahead of time. We're filming this way back on February 23rd. Look, I need time away from from the wrestling games because, you know, it's healthy to take a break. Uh, yeah, and by it, it, the last episode, it took me a little while to edit, and that's okay. That's what we're here for. We're here for the stories. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. But yeah, basically what's been going on, we're pre-recording the rest of this ahead of time so that way I can take some time off of filming everything except for our reaction videos and if we need to dip in for anything. So that's kind of what, that's the game plan is just operation film the rest of universe mode. And thankfully we will be in a good little spot certainly after tonight. Even if we just film this episode and the next, or not even the next episode, we'll still be in a good little spot. But... We've been kind of we we've been kind of getting into a groove of like two or three episodes each night, and that would honestly be the amount I would be willing to do for each week. For you know, look, we're not doing these like ten billion videos a week for Universe Mode when we get into Universe Mode proper. You know, we're only gonna have a couple videos a week probably, but I don't know. We're not gonna touch Universe Mode until the summertime probably. We got other fish to fry in this household, and I want to get through the career modes first. I want to get through the stories. <laughs> we want in I know that y'all been requesting that. And I just, I need time to play around with, like, the new improvements that are going to be made for my GM and universe mode to kind of get a feel for, like, things we can do, like, what are some of the limitations that we'll still have, you know, those sorts of things. So until I get the game and I start playing around with it myself... I can't really say for sure what we'll be up to, but I certainly know that we're going to be covering both the male and female My Rises because they've got vastly different stories, apparently, which I'm hoping that's the case. 
Because they had kind of, they, they had similar but different stories last time around, like mainly with the side missions. It would be like different iterations, like, oh, here's the female version of this, here's the male version of this. They were similar, yet kind of different in certain aspects, but I think having two distinguishable stories between the two will make things a lot better. I don't know how long the My Rises are. I'd, that's one thing I'd like to get more info on. And again, this is pre-recorded way back on February 23rd. So we might have more information by then. We may not. And that's okay. I just want to know what the stories are going to be like. <laughs> you know? Because that's what we're here for. We're here for the stories. But yeah, basically the rest of this week, this full week is going to be universe mode week where we finish off Universe Mode, and then we'll have our Saturday reaction for Friday Night Smackdown, and then on Sunday and Monday, those are going to be break days. That way we get a break from all the videos, we get a break from content, and that way everybody can kind of get a little bit of a break, you know, and get caught up with the rest of this mess. So... That just, you know, I think that's a good little, you know, I think that's a good idea, because th that's just, that just makes sense to me. Because I know when I'm watching videos, I need a break, you know, I much prefer, you know, one or two videos a week on a series, and if we do something like a MyGM or Universe Mode especially, I'd like to get to that kind of formula where we do like a couple videos a week or something like that, because like, we just cannot be doing all these videos, you know? And sometimes less is more, which I know is rich considering we did like all the reaction videos and that sort of thing, like as separate little videos when they really could have easily have been like longer, like one big long form video. But here we are, right? Right. Johnny Gargano now. It'll be interesting if we see Johnny and Austin in that elimination match. It'll be interesting. We'll have to see what happens. Oh boy. And theory now into the cover, into the cover, into the cover. Oh, what a kick out right there from Ilya Dragunov. I really should have gotten my refill on water. I'll get my refill on water in between episodes. Because I'm staying up a little bit later than usual to film. I try to cap off my filming around 10 o'clock or so. But I'm like, we just need to get through this. <laughs> but thankfully tomorrow's going to be a nice cool day. So hopefully we can get the rest of this mess filmed by like... Or at least started anyway. Like tomorrow, my hope is to finish filming by the end of the weekend. Which would run into our goal of having everything filmed by the end of February. But Torpedo Moscow connects from Ilya to Austin... And Ilya Dragunov makes his way to SummerSlam. This is an interesting little mix right here of different people in the match. What a match, everybody. What a huge matchup this was. And a great way to start off NXT here tonight. I know we're kind of all over the place, but I mean, that's kind of the way that the cookie crumbles, right? Right. Because, I mean, look, when we're in between games, essentially, at this point, we're just like, we just want to wrap up this mess and get to the new one. There's no shame in that. Look, we've been at it for almost 130-some-odd episodes. We're getting tired. And I feel like y'all might be getting tired, too. <laughs> so, and then there's always that caveat of, like, we're tired of hearing you say that you're tired. So, we're all tired, okay? But we're going to push through it. We're going to have fun. We've got the elimination matchup all set up. But we've apparently got yet another thing going on backstage. Alright, what's going on now? Oh my god, okay, okay. I did not see this one coming at all. Oh my god, oh my god. Well, I mean, in a way, this kind of adds up. Because remember how they were kind of on the same side for a little bit during that whole Edge and Bob situation? Yeah, but apparently that is no longer the case. Well, I mean, that kind of makes sense because LA Knight did turn heel not too long ago. Right? Remember that whole match that he had with Champa a little while back? And I think the people were cheering for Champa. It was a whole situation and a half when we were right before we did the merger. There we go. So it's a recent ish heel turn. But y'all grab your snacks, everybody. Oh boy. Okay, apologies if there was a jump cut right there. Uh, I accidentally pressed the game clip record button on my Xbox. 
which is lovely. And we don't need that. What was that noise? Did you just hear that noise in the game? Oh my god, what was that? I just, I can't. Oh boy. That was certainly something. Oh boy, here we go. But yeah, uh, John Cena technically won by, uh... Things are not looking good for John Cena. Oh boy. The chairs are just... I would like to know how many chairs got broken in this universe mode. Somebody do that content analysis for us, please and thank you. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, again, apologies for the jump cut. Uh, we had to apparently delete it from the Xbox network. Yeah. It's a very, very touchy console at times. Well, not a touchy console, but like, it's a touchy controller. There we go. I'd love to get a second controller, like maybe have it like in a cool color or something. I know that sounds super extra, but I'm like, hey, that wouldn't be the worst decision ever, right? Right. Oh, no. I was kind of hoping he'd put him through the table right there, but I mean, close enough, right? Right. <laughs> I'm just saying the table's right there. Oh boy, what's happening here? What is happening here? Oh, I sound so nasally when I say the word here. It's like, here. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, just, I can't. Again, we're at the point where we're like, yeah, we need to like start wrapping up this whole universe mode mess. But here we are, kids. Here we are. Here we are. That's it for John Cena, everyone. But will John Cena be okay? Who knows what'll happen, but here we are, people. L.A. Knight taking out John Cena. We haven't seen L.A. Knight for a little bit since, well, he lost in the uh, number one contenders tournament for the NXT Championship. And, well, we just saw John Cena last episode technically win by disqualification. So, on that note, we've got a huge elimination tag match to get to in the main event. So, let's get to, let's get to, y'all. All right, everyone, here we go. Oh, my God. I just sounded so tired right there. Oh, boy. Well, thankfully, we're almost there, y'all. We are almost there. Oh, boy. It's a fatal four-way elimination tag. So let's just hope for the best, everybody. Let's just hope for the best. So that's how everything's going over here on this front. Right? So it may be a little longer, maybe a little shorter. We don't know for sure. And again, if I've been a little tuned out somewhat of these last few episodes, we're trying to plow through. We're, we're trying to... Oh, okay. Well, that was a very quick transition over. Whoo! Hey, Ohio. Oh, Ohio. But yeah, here we go. We got Alexa Bliss teaming with Trish Stratus. Now, Trish and Liv Morgan, they were teaming for a little bit, but they their friction was... The friction was there, and, well, they kind of splintered apart, especially given the tag team... Or not tag team, but the NXT women's title situation and that sort of thing. So the winner of this Fatal 4-Way Elimination Tag Match will indeed go on, or at least the winning team will indeed go on to SummerSlam... Wow, these entrances are very, like, snappy. You know, it's like normally we have to wait a couple seconds, but whew! I'm totally fine with it. And hey, if we gotta, in, you know, interject and play a little bit of the match, that's okay too. I'm hoping we can just kind of chill for a little bit. Uh, next episode should be a good one as well. Next episode's the Go Home Show, or last Go Home Show to good old SummerSlam. And again, I'm hoping that I can get all this filmed by the end of February. We're looking to be, like, more than okay with that, in that regard. 
So that's just how things are kind of moving along at this point. The hard part's just going to be me getting my butt down to edit these things, because just... I don't mind filming. It's the editing that I'm like... I, I'd much rather do some other things, but yeah. Woo! Sorry about that, y'all. We had to let the entrance kind of soak in. And from Adelaide, Australia, and here we go, y'all. Here we go. 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 I'm just like singing along at this point. See, this is just, this is how universe mode has turned out at this point. We got Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair joining forces here tonight in this fatal four-way elimination match. Now the rules are that both members of the teams must be eliminated. So there is that. In order to get a full elimination, I should say. So it's going to be a longer match. It's going to be a slightly longer episode, more than likely, than what we've had previously, but that's okay. Because, I mean, look, we, we want to showcase as much of our roster as we can before we get to the end of this mess. See what I mean? Like, the entrances are going, like, extra snappy. It's like, we're not wasting any time here. Why can't we have that for, like, every match? Of course, Liv Morgan's been a bit of a mainstay here. Winning championship gold here on NXT before. But never the tag titles. As far as we know. But she will be teaming up with Mia Yim here tonight. So that'll be an interesting pairing. We're going to have to see how they do together in this matchup and that sort of thing. It'll be interesting to see how everybody kind of interacts with each other. Because a lot of these teams are new tag teams together, so it'll be it'll be interesting to say the least, right? Right. I think once I get some more water, I'll feel ready to go for like the <laughs> for the next episode. Because we're basically out of water at this point, or close enough to it. Yeah, we're close enough to it. So the struggle has been real. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. It'll be interesting to see how Mia Yim and Liv Morgan work together as a team in this matchup. And again, hey, we're showcasing as much of the women's division as we can. And I know we don't, we're missing a few people in, in here. Oh boy. We may be getting up sooner than I thought. Actually, wait, I don't have to really get up all that much. Give me a second. Sorry, y'all. Actually, nope, I gotta get up. <laughs> and of course, what tag team matchup would it be in the women's division without this lovely team? The way. They've been really making their way here on NXT as the tag champs and the cha tag team champions. Oh boy. <laughs> to say the least. So, yeah. We're just seeing how things are unfolding right here on NXT. We're going to see who moves on. You know, we're going to see who moves on to take on the team of Shayna Baszler and Bayley, the, not the NXT, but the WWE Tag Team Champions. So that'll be interesting to see what happens. You know, the women's tag champions and that sort of thing. So we're just, we're going to have to see what happens. We are going to have to see what happens here tonight. Who moves on to SummerSlam? Well, we're about to find out, y'all. We are about to find out.
And here we go. The match has begun, everybody. We've got Candace going after Trish. We've got Indy going after Alexis. Rhea going after Liv. And we got Mia and Bianca facing off against each other. So we got some different pairings there going against each other. So it should be quite interesting. Lots of chaos. It's a very busy matchup, but I think, you know, it's again, a light, it's a nice little showcase for the women's division. And sometimes that's what matters, right? Right. Just so that we're clear, it wouldn't let me turn off the rope break when I went to go create the match type. I want to make that very clear. Because otherwise I would have just turned it into a Falls Count Anywhere match. That would have been messy. We're starting to get the ring cleared out a little bit. Which, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense to me anyway. Huge German suplex right there from Mia Yim. Oh boy. Why are Bianca and Alexa fighting each other to fight Mia Yim? I don't understand this mess. I really don't. Oh, we got Bianca and Rhea now working together. Trish has Candace. Trish has Candace. Things aren't looking too good for the way here. Things are not looking the way's way. Oh! Candace is eliminated! That was fast. That was very fast. I did not expect that to happen. And I did not expect that to happen so quickly. Oh boy. Indy's not looking too good. It's just down to Indy Hartwell for the way right here. But I mean, regardless, the Way's had one heck of a run to say the least. But Rhea Ripley going in for the cover on Liv Morgan right here. Bianca trying to go for something, but Liv with the knees up right there. Okay, uh, it looks like they're just, like, trying to figure out, like, who can get their hands on Liv first. And it's, you know, it's aggravating. Oh, and a huge super kick. Live with the counter, live with the counter. We got Trish and Indy on the outside of the ring. We got Mia Yim and Alexa Bliss on the outside of the ring as well. Oh, we'll live with the counter. Oh boy. Once again, we got one match going on in. We got a we got a two on one match on the inside of the ring, and we got a mess on the outside of the ring. I think that's the best way to put it. Oh, and Liv kicks out. Oh, Liv with the counter. Liv's hanging on, y'all. I'm more fascinated in what's going on inside the ring because Liv is just hanging on there. Huge splash right there from Bianca Belair. But it looks like there's some tension with Rhea and Bianca, so we're going to have to see how everything unfolds. Bianca, oh, Liv with the knees up right there. What's Rhea up to here? Huge knee stomps right there. Oh, and huge diving maneuver right there from Rhea to Liv. Is that enough to put away Liv Morgan? Liv kicks out, saving her team. Mia Yim now joining the match to help out her partner a little bit for the time being. But Rhea now, Rhea might have it here. Rhea connects. Could this be enough to put away Liv Morgan right here tonight? I love how nobody can be bothered to go help their teammates. Love that for them. And here we go, everyone. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're down to Rhea and Liv inside the ring. Everybody else is outside the ring. Liv connects right there. Could this be enough to throw away Rhea Ripley? Oh, and Ripley kicks out. Ripley kicks out. What a match this has been. It's been chaotic, 
but I like the little stories that we've gotten so far. Oh, and Rhea with the counter. Rhea with the suplex. She's drawing it out at this point, everyone. Oh, no. And Liv Morgan not looking too good right here. Rhea Ripley now looking for the submission. Could this be enough to put away Liv? Oh, Liv is so close to the ropes. Liv is so close to the ropes. Oh, and Liv taps out. Liv cannot take it anymore. Uh, Trish is chilling. Okay, so we're down to just Mia for her team. Just Indy for the way. And so Bianca and Rhea are in full force still, and Trish and Alex are in full force. Love that for us. Can y'all get back inside the ring? Thank you, Trish. We appreciate you. Thank you, Bianca. Now that's a matchup I'd like to see. Okay, Rhea and Trish now back inside there. Okay, thank you. Everybody's starting to go back inside the ring. Even if it's for like a cup of coffee. Now that's an interesting match on paper right there. Trish versus Rhea? That would be interesting. Oh, and Rhea and Trish now in the middle of the ring right here. At least we can kind of see everybody a little bit. Everyone's kind of in one spot. So that kind of works out for all of us, right? Right. A huge neck breaker right there to Rhea from Trish. Bianca's going to the top rope against Indy, but Indy with the counter. Alexa and Mia, they're just continuing their little feud outside the ring. Oh, and Rhea might have Trish here. Rhea might have Trish here. And Rhea Ripley going in for the cover. Could this be enough to put away Trish Stratus here tonight? And Trish somehow kicks out. How in the world is Trish still in this? How are a lot of people still in this? Oh, something happened. Okay, Rhea just made Trish tap out now. we go. Bianca trying to eliminate Indy right there. Indy's not looking too good. We're down to Alexa Bliss, Mia Yim, and Indy Hartwell for their, te or for their teams. Bianca and Rhea are the only ones in full capacity right here, and I think we're seeing why. The way has been eliminated, everybody. We're down to Rhea and Bianca. We're down to Rhea and Bianca versus Alexis versus Mia right here. What a match, y'all. This has been wild. But it's been so good, so I can't complain. I mean, Rhea and Bianca, they've had the right idea of the whole match. Just go through everybody. Just go through everyone at this point. But here's the thing, y'all gonna get back inside the ring to get the pinfall. Oh my god, can we get back inside the ring? Thank you, Rhea, we appreciate you. Everybody get it? Okay, Mia Yim's going in inside the ring right here. We got Bianca going after Alexis on the outside of the ring. Oh, what a slam from Rhea right there. I gotta take a look at my recording as, instead of my screen. Well, my big screen, not the little screen. I look at the big screen and not the little screen, and that's kind of my problem. Oh, and a huge slam right there from Rhea. Mia Yim not backing down at all, y'all. Mia Yim is not backing down from Rhea Ripley whatsoever here tonight. Mia Yim might have it here. Mia might have it. 
Oh, Mia connects. Could this be enough to put away Rhea Ripley here tonight? And Mia Yim eliminates Rhea Ripley. We are down to one person from each team. We're down to Bianca, we're down to Alexa, and we're down to Mia. Well, hey, at least everybody's starting to get back inside the ring. That, that helps. That helps us a lot. Oh, and Mia with the toss right there. They're trying to get rid of Alexa. I can't blame them, you know? Well, I mean, Mia and Alexa, they've been going after each other this entire match. And Bianca wants to get the win for her team. So, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Of course, it's every woman for, them, every woman for themselves. Huge DDT from Alexa right there. Into the cover. Could this be enough to put away Mia Yim here tonight? Oh, and Mia kicks out. What a match. The women always deliver. There's no other way around it. The women just deliver here on NXT. They really do. What are we seeing here? Well, they're going to the top rope. Oh, but Mia. Mia ducked out of the way. Yeah, I'd get down from there too, Bianca. I would get down from there too. Oh, boy. Y'all, I was, like, ready to go there. I'm like, oh, boy, what's going on here? What's going on with the recording? Oh, and Mia Yim, she might be looking for it once again. She eliminated Rhea. Can she eliminate Bianca here as well? We're going to have to see what happens here. Into the cover, into the cover, into the cover. Oh, and Bianca kicks out. Alexa, she's trying to help you. And help everybody else, too. But okay. Alexa, what are you doing? Why are you trying to break up the pin? What are we doing? Like, you're not on her team. She just doesn't like me again, I swear. These two just hate each other. We got a little rivalry that's come out of this uh, matchup, to say the least. Right? Right. Oh, boy. Well, again, Alexa, what are you doing? Just, what are we doing here? Oh my god, Alexa, go away! Go take a nap, I don't know. See, even Bianca's like, what is this mess? You keep interrupting Bianca's moves, Alexa, for just no reason. I'm, I'm getting annoyed. I mean, I get that it's like you want to take care of Mia Yim yourself, but it's like Bianca's gonna just, you know, take care of business. That's just how she rolls. We've established this. Or we have been establishing this in the match. Oh, but Alexa with the knees up right there. Alexa Bliss, what is she up to here? Uh, what is everybody up to here? Why does everybody keep cutting into each other's business? I, I really mean it. See what I mean? Like, everybody just has no chill in this match. Somebody just go in for the cover. Oh, I thought Mia Yim was going in for the cover there. I'm like, alright, Mia, go, go to the pin. Again, my apologies that this is longer than usual, but I feel like it's with good reason, potentially. Right, right. Mia Yim trying to eliminate Bianca Belair. She eliminated Bianca's partner, Rhea, earlier this evening as well. And Mia Yim now going in for the cover. Could this be enough to put away Bianca Belair? Bianca kicks out. Oh my god. Oh, and a huge kick right there from Bianca. What is, what is happening in this matchup? This has just turned into a mess at this point. And this is how you know that we're just, like, checked out, right? Oh! Alexa connects. Alexa connects. Right. You could have went for the cover. My god, this is all... Oh... Can we fix these things coming up in uh, 
2K23? That'd be, that'd be swell, because I'm getting annoyed. Oh, Bianca's going in for the cover on Mia now. Oh, boy. Mia Yim is out. We're down to Alexa and Bianca now. What a mess that whole situation was. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bianca now. Huge throw to Alexa. Bianca Belair now going up to the top turnbuckle right there. Oh, what a beautiful move right there. Bianca to Alexa Bliss. That could very well be it. Oh, but Alexa kicks out somehow, some way. Bianca Belair now going up to the top rope once again. Here tonight. Oh, Alexa Bliss ducks out of the way right there. And the winning team will take on Bailey and Baszler for the women's tag titles at SummerSlam. So... We're going to have to see what happens here, everyone. We're going to have to see. Alexa Bliss on the offense now. Into the cover. Could this be enough to put away Bianca Belair here tonight? And Alexa Bliss and Trish Stratus make their way to SummerSlam. What a match, y'all. Hey, where's Trish? Asking for a friend. But Alexa and Trish make their way to take on Bailey and Baszler at SummerSlam. But what a match, y'all. What a match we just saw. And on that note, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button to get notifications around here and that sort of thing. So, again, thank y'all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next one.